Baltimore billboard backlash. It's a story that is definitely making people talk tonight. Yes, animal rights group PETA has put up an ad in the city encouraging people to stop eating crabs. I know, it's a little crazy sounding. Right, WJZ is live. George Solis getting both sides to weigh in a story that has everybody talking. George? Yeah, no question that this billboard is a bold move here in crab country. PETA asking Baltimoreans to give up on their beloved crabs and go vegan. You can ask just about anyone. In Baltimore, crab is king. Definitely, <laughs> definitely. It's part of the city's history, you know what I mean? And so, what at first glance may appear to be an homage to the city's crustacean turned out to be quite the opposite. Well, people got... Let's say crabby. Without the uh, seafood, there's no Baltimore. Just the C-section sign would really annoy me. Technically, it's a billboard. It's on the corner of East Baltimore Street near several seafood restaurants. This message on it from animal rights group PETA. I'm meat, not meat. See the individual. Go vegan. Online Baltimoreans have been sounding off with tweets like this one. Sorry, PETA. Maryland loves crabs. Safe to say that billboard's not making any friends here in Baltimore, especially with the guy that owns the business right below it. I don't have nothing to do with this. I sell Maryland crab meat. Silver Moon 2 owner Nick People Lentis says now that the billboard has gone viral, it's been a nightmare for his business. I think they have to remove it. PETA says they plan to keep it up ahead of the city's seafood fest next month. They are individuals. Uh, they can feel pain. Uh, they can, uh, you know, sense the world around them, and they definitely do not want to be boiled alive. I don't think they knew what they were getting themselves into. Be that as it may, business owners like John Minidakis of Jimmy's Famous Seafood says it's going to be a tough argument to win in crab country. If, uh, you know, the community sees that there's an attack on Baltimore happening, I can definitely see them getting behind places like this and showing their support. And while this billboard is unique to Baltimore, PETA says they do have similar ones along the East Coast. The city, by the way, in the middle of Vegan Restaurant Week. Live in downtown Baltimore tonight, George Solis reporting for WJZ.